Hi there, and welcome to my slideshow online test prep. Today we're going to discuss the pros and cons of eight top online test preparation programs. My name is Michelle Goins, and I'm a teacher and professional SAT tutor. And if you'd like to reach me, if you have any comments or questions or suggestions or anything like that, you can email me. My email's there at the bottom. All right, let's take a look at some of the major programs with which you're probably already familiar. We have the ACT. They're responsible for the ACT exam. College Board, who is responsible for the SAT exam. Kaplan and Princeton Review. Now you've probably heard from these last two a lot because they advertise everywhere, all over the internet, and you'll see their um, their test prep guides in every bookstore imaginable, most likely. And they're excellent, excellent guides. But um, in this slideshow, we'll only be looking at the online programs that they offer. There are also a number of excellent growing programs that you may not have uh, heard of before. B-Star, Edsortium, Grocket, which is a lot of fun to say, and Method Test Prep. Now, since I don't really want this to be a 15 minute video, I'll go right into looking at these. Here's B-Star. They offer SAT, math, vocabulary, and reading and writing. They also cover PSAT and ACT skills. I found their website to be pretty friendly and straightforward, not very many bells and whistles. They have bi-weekly exams that test students' knowledge of reading, writing, vocabulary, math, and or advanced math concepts covered on the PSAT, SAT, and ACT. Here are the pros. The exercises gradually increase in difficulty with emphasis on speed and accuracy. The SAT math lessons are completely free and they also have sample exams for other subjects. I browsed around their website for a while and they seem genuinely interested in helping students to do well and they don't push sales as much as some of the bigger companies might. They don't seem to spam or send annoying emails, letters, phone calls, that kind of thing. Again, like a lot of the other companies have and we'll get into that later. There are some cons though. For those who are taking the ACT, there's no science section. So you'll get your math, reading, writing, um, vocabulary, grammar, that kind of thing, but not science. And this website's not quite as interactive or customized as some of the other sites. It pretty much has a set program that goes over the skills that you're supposed to know for the SAT, ACT, that kind of thing. Also, the 11th and 12th grade content is not fully developed yet. However, from what I've seen, a lot of the content in the 9th and 10th grade exams is fairly advanced, and I mean really, really advanced, especially the advanced math. They're covering some calculus and trig, statistics, concepts. So I found the, the level of these exams to be more than sufficient for the SAT level math and reading writing. There are also some unique bonus features. They have an excellent referral program, which means for each two successful referrals, you get a free semester of any subject. And please, please, please list my email. If you do happen to sign up for this website, it's love to teach 101 at gmail.com, and I can donate that, rec that referral credit to my students. They also have weekly competitions in each subject. My students really, really like these because they get to sort of compete with each other and see how their speed and accuracy lines up compared to other people. Now, it doesn't actually say their score, it just shows the ranking and percentage. They can also earn virtual trophies, medals, and ribbons for completing things quickly and accurately. 
Also, there's a fully developed sister site for grades one through eight, and this has referral benefits and weekly competitions as well. Moving on, Ed Sortium. Now this website offers online SAT courses in a virtual classroom. The pros. The site seems to assume a high level of academic performance and integrity in its users, which I've found it's generally good for helping boost confidence levels and reduce test anxiety. A lot better than assuming um, their users are not very intelligent. The instructor on here has a really impressive history of teaching test preparation, including founding the Princeton Review of Tennessee. And they also had a video of him on there, and he seemed really, really nice. He seemed to really know his stuff. The accelerated courses are also available for highly motivated students, so this website also has advanced programs. Okay, some of the cons. This is kind of interesting. Their method is based on the premise that students know everything they need to know to score perfectly on the SAT and ACT by the end of the eighth grade. Now, I think that should be the case. These concepts are in the curriculum, official curriculum, but I don't think it is for most of the students I've encountered. I think teachers are so incredibly busy and overloaded with concepts that they're required to teach their students that many of them don't really get a full grasp of them by the time they move on to high school. So, I, I just don't think that's the case. <laughs> it seems fairly expensive for the amount of instruction received. There are some unique bonus features. Class recordings are available for playback if you miss or need to review something. There's also an option for traditional in-person lessons. Okay, so they, um, they also offer regular classroom preparation. And as I mentioned earlier, the teacher of the online and in-person lessons seems extremely eloquent, well-trained, and encouraging. So that's a good sign. Now we have Grocket. Grocket, Grocket, Grocket. Grocket offers online video courses and or one-on-one -on -one individual tutoring. I'm sorry, I just love saying that name. <laughs> they have an awesome name, which is, if in case you didn't know, it's an allusion to the wonderful book, Stranger in a Strange Land by Robert A. Heinlein, which I highly, highly recommend. The group study section is free for everybody. So you can go and talk with people about concepts that you might not know or help people who are having trouble grasping concepts with which you're pretty familiar, which is actually a, little side note. If you teach a concept to somebody, it really, really helps reinforce it in your mind. So practice as much as you can teaching concepts to people. Grocket helps match students with potential tutors to suit their needs. So there's a, a section there you can sign up as a tutor or as a student and it sort of matches with ability level. And uh, there is an additional fee for that. They also show you how your scores compare to those of entering freshmen of various universities. So if the university you want to go to has scores in the 5, 50, 600 range, you really don't need to stress out getting a, an 800 on the math section if, if most people there only make 550 to 600. I say only, that's still an impressive score, guys. Okay, some of the cons. All questions are extremely similar to those on the SAT and ACT. Now this might be a pro for some people, but in most of the students I've worked with, I've, I find that these types of questions are kind of discouraging, tricky, or even boring for them, especially for the more advanced students. I find the majority of students prefer to initially practice with more entertaining questions that gradually familiarize them with the exam questions. Okay, the, the SAT is meant to be 
grueling, long, boring, and tricky. They, they want to exhaust you so that you'll make careless mistakes. And you don't want to get exhausted when you practice. You definitely want to practice the exam format several times before taking the exam, but when you're really working on the content of it, I, I think you want to have a little bit better time. This also has some unique bonus features. There are many tests that help you predict your score and target your weaknesses. Grokit also allows you to sign in through Facebook and share your progress with friends if you feel so inclined. And there's a free three-day trial that doesn't require that you supply any credit card information, which is surprising and refreshing. It, it says it's unlimited. I don't think it's really unlimited. I tried to go to some videos and it wouldn't let me. Feel free to see for yourself. And the last of the growing programs I'll discuss is Method Test Prep. Now these are a bunch of short lessons followed by exams that test students' knowledge of SAT and or ACT content. The pros. Students can either choose self-paced, self-paced, or teacher-led classes to suit their learning styles. There are free study guides and test prep webinars. Now this does require a login, and I, I don't recall if you're required to give any um, contact information like your phone number, but you do have to sign up for an account to take advantage of that. It offers larger scale programs for schools and school districts, so if you work for a school district, this website also has options for that. And according to the people of my test prep page, the founders and employees seem very helpful and dedicated to their work. Oh yes, I remember they have pictures of them and they look so nice. Um, there are video, audio, as well as text explanations for the missed, pro missed problems. Some of the cons. Everything has a con. Since classes are broadcast live, you can't pause, rewind, or catch up if you miss them. And uh, the cost of study materials is not covered. So you, that means you have to buy the official SAT study guide, which is put out by the College Board, remember, or the real ACT prep guide, depending on which course you're going to take. And um, if you choose the self-paced option, actually, don't think that's the case. I think you can review things at your own pace. And they also have some interesting unique bonus features. You have access to their free blog with dozens of pages worth of testing and studying advice. Students can participate in online sessions via text or microphone chat, and that's during the actual session. And in person and individual online tutoring is also available. There's an additional fee for these services. I think we're going to take a break before we go into the well-known test prep programs, but I'll see you shortly.